Measurement Unit Section 4, Measuring Liquids. A graduated cylinder is used to measure liquid volume. The unit is the milliliter. To use a graduated cylinder, you must remember the following. Place the graduated cylinder on a flat surface and view the height of the liquid in the cylinder with your eyes directly level with the liquid. The liquid will tend to curve downward due to the relatively strong attractive force between the liquid and glass. The curved surface is called the meniscus. As a general rule, the bottom of the meniscus is taken as the liquid level in the cylinder and any other liquid volume measuring device. Always read the measurement at the bottom of the meniscus. It is important to determine the scale increment before you begin, begin to measure. To find the scale increment, subtract the values of any two adjacent labeled graduations and divide by the number of intervals between them. This technique works for thermometers, spring scales, and any other measuring instrument as well. So in this example, we're going to Use the interval between 300 and 400 milliliters that are already marked out. That represents 100 milliliters. Then we will count the number of tick marks between those two scale marks. There are five tick marks or divisions. We take our interval 100 milliliters, divide it by the number of tick marks, which was five, which gives us a value of 20 milliliters per division. Once we know our scale, we can determine the height of a liquid. Remember, we want to read from the bottom of the meniscus. We have liquid to 400 and then two additional tick marks above that, each worth 20 milliliters for a total of 440 milliliters.